I just love that it's a thing now. Eating vegetables has become cool again. The lowly cauliflower, like yeah. this lumpy, <laughs> homey thing, is now like this really cool yeah, game day thing. Yeah. That's right. Pour a cup of coconut oil over low heat. We're not using butter because it's kind of not vegan. It's totally not vegan. Exactly. Coconut oil kind of does the thing that the fat does. Mm -hmm. Usually it's butter. It makes the sauce cohesive mm -hmm. to the cauliflower because there's no buffalo unless it's sticking. I'm gonna add half a cup of hot sauce. To make it vegan, so we took out the eggs yep. and the butter buttermilk. Yep. So it's coconut milk. You took the butter out of the sauce, but you put coconut oil in there, mm -hmm. which I actually kind of like better. Yeah. I think it adds a little something. It does. Yeah. It really does. Try flour, panko. Cornmeal was great. It stuck to the cauliflower. It gave us a nice hearty crunch. Mm. You toss the cauliflower in the dry mixture, then you add the coconut milk and it creates more of a sticky batter. Uh, still a little dusty and dry, and then you deep fry it and you take it out, you toss it. And there you have it, easy. As you can see, it's sticking without ruining our crust. Vegan cauliflower bites, better than wings. It's neck and neck. My chicken days might be over. Oh, or well, my chicken day might be over. My chicken day. <laughs> On the cauliflower bite, I mean, you eat the whole thing, so you get all that sauce and all that surface area of fried goodness. So I'm, I'm actually kind of moving over to the cauliflower side now that I think about it a little bit. A little bit.